Hello and welcome back to Hoff Bergman. We pick up here where we left off. We're gonna leave the pickup truck here with the trailer here. And we're gonna head back in the tractor. Now let me just double check. Package red wine, best price is February. So we're gonna be scooting through to February fairly quickly. Currently November. Gonna take a massive dive and then it's gonna shoot up in February. Although the span between the two prices isn't actually that much at all. So yeah. Let's Oh, we've still got loads of red wine here. Well, then we're gonna have to speed up some time a little bit. In fact, what we'll do... Is we will... Shoot over to the farm. And we'll go to bed. Oh, look. Look at all the eggs. No real room for eggs, they say. Well, that's good then. What about their food? Yep, they got food. Super. And they got water. What is that chick doing? Alright. Anyway, like I said, we'll go to bed. Well, good morning and welcome to a very dark December. We'll leave the time at times 30. Alright, let's see if we can empty it all now. No idea how quickly this process is or how quickly it's going to have used it. No, not quite all of it. But we have absolutely tons of wine here to, to um, put it into the... Uh, Or to load, yeah, to load up. Which is good. So yeah, we're going to be flying through to February, I think. Oh. Why do I keep pressing the wrong buttons? There. I wanted. Anyway, this is going to take me a while, so I'll probably do a jump cut. Need to have a look at actually how the wine production is still doing because. Right, materials missing there. Yep, we've run out of that, we've run out of that. Run out of that, but we've got loads of grape juice. And red wine storing. Well. We're going to have to transport some more down here. We've now done all the wine making, as you can see. Here's all the wine making. <laughs> or here's all the wine, I should say.
actually I wonder if I should set if I set that to distributing would it make its way over here it did <laughs> look at that superb right well that can carry on then I just need to um, just need to go and pick up the wine although if I set that to distributing it should make its way over here Is that the wrong button that would make my life a lot easier wouldn't it There's a lot of wine. Right then, I'm going to get all this loaded up and we'll jump cut. Right then, so we have got quite a full trailer load. I've set the rest to selling. I'm only in, really interested in how much it goes for per however, however much we've got. Um, yeah, this will be a full trailer load. Last four going on, and then I think we'll forward it to February. Unfortunately, when I uh, distributed the grape juice, I thought it would go into um, winemaking, but it hasn't. It's come over here um, to the bottling factory, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. But it's still more than we would get for grapes. Okay. So how much does that give us in total? 3,552 litres of wine. Right then. So in order to sell that, we need it to be February. So, let's go make it February. So it is now a snowy February. The prices are good over at McKay's Beer Parlour, so that's where we're going to head. And uh, we're going to get all this sold. Minus three degrees outside, so all the people at McKay's need their wine to stay warm. Well, it certainly looks like this is actually going to be the final episode of the vineyard. Oh, oh, don't break the wine, don't break the wine, come on, we've spent a long time on this. Um, so yeah, after this we'll get everything sold. And we'll see what we end up with. We did. We know what we started on because it was whatever it is what we finished the farm on, money-wise. Oh no, McKay's isn't open. I have to wait. Right. 
right here we are this is it february wine sales oh what's all this out the back here beer pallets owned by me where do they all come from I'm trying to sell my wine here where do I sell my wine with all the beer in the way Yeah. It is actually over where the beer is, isn't it? Well, this is a pain in the bum. I'm probably just going to have to push all the beer out of the way. Yes. Right, well, there's it all sold out of the back of the pickup, and that was £1,718 with a £38 environmental bonus. And now we're going to have to reverse the trailer in. Oh. Ah, I wasn't far enough over it, I don't think. Wait a pesky minute. They had enough wine. They don't want any more of my wine. Well, they seem to be drinking it quite fast. I guess no more. Well. Let's take the rest to the church. Oh. Well, we'll lose that on the way somewhere. See, it was strapped on. Well, that leaves us with um, 956 litres left of wine, and I'm sure the church will take it. I can't believe McKay's beer parlour is full. That seems to be a little bit ridiculous. It's a beer parlour. But no, I'm sure the reverend at the church will take the wine. He's always after the wine. He was after the beer as well, and the bread. Now, where did I put the church? There it is, over there. Now, I don't think I'll be able to get the car in the church. So I'll have to do it by hand, I think.
Unless that other gate opens. Do we think the other gate opens? It does not. Right. Let's see how much wine the vicar wants. drunk I've no idea if this is a good price or not but it's fun to give it to him saying it sounds like some goose uh but it's obviously german so it's not some goose -er. Oop. how much more can he possibly have I had some bread to give him as well, but I don't. Right, I'll get the rest of these sold to him. I'll see you in a minute. Right, here we are, last one. I'd say he'd had enough now. But, um... That's just my personal opinion. Oh. Now he seems fine again. Maybe he's built up a high tolerance. Oh no, there he is, drunk again. Fine. <laughs> I've never actually took the time to, um, to wander around the church. Not a bad looking building. Hmm. John Doe, John Doe, John Doe, Jane Doe, John Doe, John Doe. God, are they all call John Doe. Really have no imagination of names in this town, do they? Right then. Nothing left to do but to sell everything, I suppose. Right. Well, I have sold all the equipment. I've also put the time on full fast forward. Because we still have plenty of wine that's distributing. Distributing to the bottling facility, which is struggling to make all the packaged goods. And selling them straight away. So we're going to have to keep going until all that's gone. I'm going to have to go and sell my chickens. Oh look, a boat. Well that didn't come up in the menu. Why can't I sell my boat? Interesting. Ah, I've still got some fish. Never mind. Right. Need to put on the uh, the markers because I can't see them. Ah, there. Right. 
Let's sell them. There we go. <coughs> Chickens all sold. We've still got some eggs, but uh, they're going to remain unsold, unfortunately. And we're just going to have to wait until all the red wine has gone. Well, it's absolutely fascinating. It has taken through to September of year two to sell all the wine that we made from the harvest last year. That's absolutely crazy. But it's all gone now. So, all that's left for us to do is to sell the farmland. Now, remembering that we started this with about a hundred and uh, well, sorry, one point five million. Oh, look, we've got to sell all these, all the little bit of fishing areas that we never used because <laughs> because the fishing wasn't really for us. So, with the amount that the um, the vehicles that we bought depreciated, we've actually lost money in the last year. Obviously, if we were going to carry on, we wouldn't have had to pay for all those vehicles again. And we would have made money. But, there we go. All done. So that, that was Hofbergman the Vineyard. It's a fantastic little update to this, this, this map. Absolutely brilliant update. And in terms of the vineyard, well, that was a mammoth job. Absolutely huge task to get all that done. I'm not even sure we did manage to harvest all the grapes in the end, did we? But yeah, we're done. There were one or two features on the farm, the new uh, farm that I forgot to show you, such as the winch for the bales. From up here. Um, but... I have no idea how to work them, and we don't own the land anymore. <laughs> so that's something you have to figure out for yourself if you want to. Uh, you want to start work here on Half Bergman. I honestly think it is definitely, definitely worth it. It's such a fantastic map. So that's it. That concludes our visit to Half Bergman. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you again very soon on another series. Bye for now.